Demon Slayer screening. And as you can see, I just got back from watching it and <sighs> sex. I'm not gonna lie. I'm thoroughly shocked at how much I enjoyed it. Even though we paid to watch episodes 10 and 11 of season two again, it was still amazing. It was still absurd to see that whole fight and that whole cinematic masterpiece on the big screen instead of just like your little monitor or your TV wall, you know, it was amazing. Okay. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I'm kind of shocked at how much I enjoyed it, but now the juicy stuff, why, why we went to see the screening, the 40 minute long episode for season three, there might be a little, little bit teeny, little dabble bit of spoiler, but I'm not going to go overly in depth. And I, I might just hint at people you know, give a little nudge at those who have seen the screening or have read the manga, right? Can I first say that the Infinity Castle scene with all the upper rank demons? At many points in time, I thought Akazio was going to show up at the Super Bowl at some point. Like this guy, the way this guy was maneuvering around the Infinity Castle was just, I, I don't even know how to put into words that entire that entire segment of just Akaza going through the whole Infinity Castle and him just skydiving into a platform, raising him to the Super Bowl. I, I just don't even know how to explain it. It was amazing. Now, one moment that I had my head tilting, I was kind of in disbelief. I don't think I've ever had a moment in Demon Slayer where I actually sat there, like, thinking, trying to piece things together. Like, how is this possible? What is going on? Like... From the dream that Tanjiro had to Mr. Upper One looking like you know who, I'm, I'm my 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 timelines and my head is mixed up and I'm so confused at what's going on. Demon Slayer is supposed to be simple. It still is simple, but it's coming to the point where you 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 starting to think with your head about certain things in this the series. I'm just. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I, I'm I'm curious to see what 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 we're what we're gonna see with Mr. Upper Upper One and the connection he makes with you know who. And another thing I wanna gush about in this screen, I got to witness this on the big screen. So this might be even more baffling to me than before. But as per Ufotable usual, they have stepped up their CGI game. And by stepped up their CGI game, I mean I swear to god they're not even using CGI at this point. Like they literally took a whole Canon camera and filmed a whole lab desk and these flasks shattering and all this, all this bullshit. It's not CGI. I refuse to believe it's CGI at this point. I even saw this on the big screen. I, I'm supposed to like see it in the high definition that it is. And that, that there's no way that's CGI. I'm, I'm going to say it. Unlimited budget works. Chill out. Relax. God fucking damn. That entire scene was just, was just sex. The, the whole Infinity Castle scene with all the upper demons, the entire CGI moment, everything about it. There was not a flaw about how visually stunning and beautiful that scene was. I, I There's nothing I could change. And the fact I saw it in the big screen was just, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. You know, we just all got introduced as this new character, Goto. Who does side character just popping in and being like one of the funniest fucking characters to fill in the comedy? As per usual, the comedy in Demon Slayer is just amazing. And the whole theater was actually like laughing at, at some point. And overall, because of that, it just made the whole theater experience of a complete vibe. And it was a great atmosphere in the theater because of all that comedy that Demon Slayer has. Especially Goto. That guy just came out of nowhere. We don't even know who this guy is. He's like one of the lower rank scrubs. And he's just making the whole theater laugh. Underrated character. I don't even know if we're going to ever see him again. But amazing looks the same to all the other scrub level characters in the in the series too probably seen him multiple times we just don't even realize it we actually have seen him multiple times he literally stated he's been showing up multiple times in the series we just don't notice it because he literally looks exactly the same as all the other low level scrubs bro and of course the reason why everyone actually went to theaters to, to watch it on big stream all i can say is just be Tanjiro right now oh my god oh my god made it well worth it easily easily now my only real issue with the screening was the fact that they didn't cut up 
the opening and the recaps and the endings of the episodes. Like, we watched credits three times in one sitting at a movie theater. At a fucking movie theater. It's kind of ridiculous that they didn't just at least cut that up and make it a bit smooth, a bit smoother watch for a screening. Like, why did you keep the credits rolling and the endings? And I guess playing the opening at the start was was fine, but it still kind of fell off in a way. Even the eye catchers in between the halfway points of the episodes and the titles of the episode and the episode number should just cut all that out so it's but much smoother and not wasting our time okay in reality we're all just there for the new episode in episode one for season three but it is what it is and overall it was still a great great experience everybody was chill the theater environment was amazing everybody cracked up a laugh whenever nezuko was adorable or I don't know, Goto was on screen talking about, like, what's going on and stuff like that. No, or no skate 2. It was just overall amazing. I can't wait for this next season because Demon Slayer is heating up. Demon Slayer is actually heating up. More importantly, I can't wait to see more boobs.